Hi everyone, uh, this is Daniel Pegu, a student of School of Biochemical Engineering, IIT BHO Varanasi. I am currently in my fifth year pursuing Biochemical Engineering. So, uh, we will be talking about uh, the future prospects, career aspects, scopes and interest uh, in the field of Biochemical Engineering, Biotechnology or its allied fields of Life Sciences. Biotechnology or its allied uh, fields of life sciences consist or let's say encompasses uh, various other sectors like health, animal husbandry, pharmaceutical industries, food processing industries, fermentation industries, drug development, seed technology and so on. Your first step in this journey should be definitely joining a college uh, pursuing a degree in, uh, in BSc, BTEC uh, in this field and further you can go for higher studies uh, pushing MSc or MTech and even higher would be PhD scholar or post doc programs so in India there are ample colleges you need not worry about uh, the limited seats because there are no such uh, no uh, limited seats because there are many many colleges that offers you with this degree so you can definitely appear for the examination that colleges or university cities uh, conduct for its intake process. So you qualify them and get admission to colleges which offers you with this degree. That should be your first step in this journey. And, uh, uh, I'm not very well acquaint acquainted about the facts, uh, the current scenario of this field and its market demand. Uh, so, I have requested to one of my seniors, Mr. Devanjan Kundu, he is my guide and mentor, we basically work in the same lab, he is a PhD scholar in the School of Biochemical Engineering, he also holds uh, experience in the industrial sector, so uh, from now on uh, he will take over this video and continue with this briefing uh, before passing him over I sincerely thank him uh, for accepting my request and making a short video on a very short uh, period of notice and I would also uh, would like to wish all the very best to the students who will join college shortly and okay hello guys uh, this is Debanjan Kundu and I'm speaking from School of Biochemical Engineering, IIT BHO. I'm currently a third year PhD scholar uh, at School of Biochemical Engineering, IIT BHU. And uh, this is just a very small briefing about uh, the current scopes and interests in the field of biotechnology, biochemical engineering, and allied life sciences. So I guess uh, you all are currently passing out class 12 or will be passing out class 12 pretty soon and uh, looking forward in the career aspect of life sciences uh, and advanced life sciences and allied health sciences so in this particular umbrella of allied life sciences and advanced life sciences we have a very broad specialization called biotechnology and this biotechnology is another big umbrella which consists of a lot of domain and the domain includes all other aspects of life sciences in various forms like uh, biochemistry, cell biology, genetics, microbiology, pharmaceutical biotechnology, biochemical engineering, bioinformatics, computational biology, systems biology and so on. So all these subjects are basically taught at uh, various levels. Uh, in the graduation and the post-graduation level and currently in India we have both BSc and MSc courses as well as uh, BTEC and MTech courses in biotechnology with specialization in various fields it might be in computational biology it might be in nanobiotechnology maybe in food biotechnology or something like that so uh, the specialization could also be in biochemical engineering as well uh, after you after students basically they graduate with BSc and MSc or BTEC or MTEC in biotechnology uh, generally at this point of time the biggest scope 
is obviously uh, in research and academics and other than research and academics there are also various kind of job profiles that are there in the industry the industry basically again consists of various domains which might depend on your specialization so if 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 if, if a student belongs to a background of uh, computational specialization he or she might be interested in big data in next generation sequencing in data analytics and uh, all this kind of courses all this kind of job profiles there are other job profiles like if someone has a specialization in biochemical engineering uh, at the industry from the industrial point of view might be involved in the liquor industry uh, the fermentation industry basically which includes uh, production food production of uh, various levels like the dairy the beverages uh, etc things like that there are uh, other than this industrial aspect of biochemical engineering they might also be interested in going to the pharmaceutical industry and pharmaceutical industry will be more inclined towards development of drugs for various kinds of diseases so people with a specialization in pharmaceutical biotechnology will be more uh, suitable for jobs which are into drug development clinical trials etc and there are people who might be interested in research and uh, academics so so for a career in research and academics a phd is highly mandatory these days and in future future years as well and in in india there are various kind of exams that are conducted at very after which a student can appear after graduation and post graduation in order to pursue phd in india from reputed uh, government institutions as well as iits and centrally funded technological institutes so once a student does a phd the phd is basically a specialization of one particular domain under this brick umbrella of biotechnology so it might be uh, someone might be working in molecular biology someone might specialize in biophysics someone might specialize in biochemistry genetics that will only depend on what kind of work is being done by that particular student in uh, in the phd itself so after phd generally the student can be become an independent researcher as well as be associated with an institute where he or she can become a professor i mean starting from assistant professor and going above the rungs of faculty so these are the various aspects very briefly there are also uh, careers like um, in 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 corporate careers which which involves working for contract research organizations uh, which are basically consultant firms for various pharmaceutical companies and they basically do uh, market surveillance studies for launching of particular drug by any drug company or launching of any product by any any company for that matter so they do uh, what we call post marketing surveillance as well as uh, pre marketing surveillance as to determining what are the factors which might play a role in in launching a drug what are the competitors of, of a particular drug if a company is trying to launch a drug for the diabetes uh, at which point of time should it be launched what should be the price setting what should be should it be a generic medicine or should it or will is it a novel medicine which can be patented so all these things can be uh, this are this is also another field of work there are also bio patenting jobs so there are patent specialists who looks after the legal aspects of any product that is being developed by any company it could be a novel drug it could be a novel uh, instrument by or it could be a novel sensor technology that might be required uh, to maybe test any any anything at a very quick time so all these aspects are there and then there is also uh, uh, recently there are also careers people who are who are interested in management uh, management managerial courses they can also do courses related to hospital management health management there there might be students who might be interested so so, so other aspects uh, can be suppose a student who who does a bsc in biotechnology can also do a masters in public health mph it is also another very good course they can also do uh, management pgdm courses postgraduate diploma in business management with specialization in healthcare management systems or hospital management systems agricultural management uh, etc so there are also managerial courses coming up people for people who are interested in managerial uh, positions working for companies as well so these are the various aspects uh, it, it, uh, but i would always advise being a phd student i would advise new students coming out who are just going to join their courses new courses as a bsc or a btech should give themselves a couple of years time at least first two years of any course whether bsc or btech uh, should be given 
to the student itself in order to judge uh, what is their area of interest whether they want to what 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 particular area of interest do they want to develop their skills into and how they look forward in time where do they see themselves do they see themselves as a potential researcher do they see themselves as a potential uh, corporate leader etc so so the decision of pursuing higher studies or pursuing a particular career will obviously depend on the student's choice as well as the student's area of interest so i wish all the students for whom i'm making this brief video uh, all the best and uh, it's, it's a very bright and encouraging field especially in the current times as all of you know uh, the rest to vaccine against COVID-19 is happening. So, so that is a very, very big uh, field of study. Vaccinology is a very big, of study, very big field of study. And, and I really wish all the students all the best. And uh, for, for any particular queries, any student can reach me out. I'll share the contact details. And uh, any person can reach me out regarding what are the career prospects in this particular field. I wish all of them all the best. This is Devanjan Kundu signing off. Thank you.